What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackers? Percolate? What's really good in the hood? It's your man, Theo Butler. And yeah, first of all, Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year to everyone. And this particular video that I'm doing falls along the lines of WGTP Sports as opposed to I ain't saying. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. Anyway, we're going to start this new year off right. And in celebration of starting new year, the new year off right, what we're going to do today is to dispel one of the biggest myths out there today. We're going to go ahead and address it, get it right, so we don't ever have to get, address it again. And during this video, I'm going to upset two groups of fans or fanatics, depending on how you want to look at it. I'm going to piss off simultaneously LeBron James fans and Michael Jordan fans. How so? Here we go. There's this thing. Who is the GOAT? Who is the greatest basketball player of all time? I'm going to say Michael Jordan. This, of course, is going to piss off LeBron James fans because they're going to be like, well, why are you saying that? You already know why. We're not going to do that. It ain't even what this video is about. I was asked last night by my son who would win a one-on-one -on -one matchup game between Michael Jordan and LeBron James? Fair question. I'm going to get this video done in less than 10 minutes. That way I can load it up to Instagram. I told him, I said, here we go. I said, you know what? Head-to-head -head matchup. LeBron James gets the ball first. If LeBron James, because he is the bigger athlete, he is the strongest basketball player. He is. If he plays Michael Jordan, if this is Michael Jordan versus LeBron James, and they're both in their prime, if LeBron James plays Michael Jordan the same way Magic Johnson did against Michael Jordan in that first NBA Finals, game one, that the Bulls lost. LeBron James wins. There, I said it. I'm still considering Michael Jordan the GOAT, but LeBron James wins. But how, and I got LeBron James fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah you right, man. Tell, tell the truth, Theo. Yeah, you're not going to like what I'm getting ready to say. I said if he plays it like Magic Johnson did, Magic Johnson relied on his low post game to dominate Michael Jordan. That's why they put Scottie Pippen on him. But now, we know LeBron James, inexcusably, for no reason whatsoever, will take a jumper, a fadeaway jumper, that has no reason, has no way of going in whatsoever. LeBron James would have one time to miss a shot against Michael Jordan and he would never get the ball back. The I, no, Michael jumps higher. He jumps faster. Yes, he's more explosive than LeBron James is. He is, and he's quicker off the dribble. He is, and you finna put LeBron James on him one-on-one -on -one in open space? No, sir. See, if I can give LeBron James his props and expose Michael Jordan weaknesses, I can also give Michael Jordan his props and expose LeBron James weaknesses. For instance, watch this. In a one-on-one -on -one game, Michael Jordan against Allen Iverson. If Allen Iverson gets the ball first and he just focuses on attacking the rim, he should win that one-on-one -on -one matchup. However, if Allen Iverson, for whatever reason, takes an ill-advised jump shot and he misses against Michael Jordan, he will never get that ball back. Never. <laughs> That's it. So, the question has been answered. Theo, who would win a one-on-one -on -one game between Michael Jordan and LeBron James in their prime? If LeBron James gets the ball first and he plays the game the way he's supposed to, he should win. If Michael Jordan gets the ball first and he plays the game he, the way he's supposed to, he should win. It really does come, come down to that. It really, really does. That's an honest assessment of both men's physical attributes when it comes to basketball. And my other mindset, that if LeBron James got the ball first, he would still wind up losing to Michael Jordan. Yep, you know why? Because Michael Jordan, at LeBron James, at some point in time, is not going to believe that he can get that shot down in the paint each and every time he wants to. Magic Johnson did, though. That's why Phil Jackson made the change. I ain't saying, I'm just saying, Happy New Year to y'all. 
Happy New Year to y'all. Happy New Year. Uh, I hope you're coming in strong into 2021. This is my first video for 2021 WGTB Sports. We're going to have more videos, more sports-related content coming to you guys. Peace.